All right, welcome. I want to welcome all my new subscribers and my old supporters. I appreciate you. It is Saturday morning. Call it Saturday morning cartoons, tarot tunes. So, um, that's a tarathon. I'm going to get it out this morning. It was on my spirit all night. I almost got up in the middle of the night <clears throat> so I can be this voice for the karmics. Karmics are men and women who come into people's lives. Maybe you experience them. They don't have to be a love relationship. And they teach you lessons, um, whether it's good lessons or bad lessons. And hopefully you learn, you grow. Um, maybe you change if you need to change or you acquire some things, right? So the karmic men and women, so basically the other man or other woman, whoever you're in love with, um, just, they just don't like you. They don't like you. You could be a crush. You could be your ex-husband, ex-wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other, a husband and wife now, notorious Mr. and Mrs. Side Peace, um, common law, um, marriage, um, or you could be a partner, um, entangle, entanglement, situationship. You could have met this man or woman at work. You could be, what is it, a, a work wife, work husband, um, somebody you could have met in the recreation activities, gym, something like that. Well, anyway, this man or woman said they don't like you. They don't like you. So I'm going to let the karmics um, speak through me, and I'm going to be fair. My old channel is the same way, whether you like it or not, um, right? Because I consider myself not a karmic. Um, 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 so if I was asking about a man or a woman, this would be how they feel about me. And so it is what it is. And I try to be fair, um, right? Just to give you an example. And if I was a karmic and I liked a man or woman, this is how I would feel about, you know, you. All right, so collectors, let's see. Come on, karmic. Why you don't like this man? Why you don't like this woman? They just don't like you and shit. I smell envy and hate and jealousy all over this. You could have this man or woman's heart. Okay, well, we're going to see. Karma's little, come on now. <laughs> All right, Karma's, why you don't like this um woman? I mean, oh, this spin. Trapped. Okay, I gotta say what I first say before I hit the cards. I feel like. They, I feel like you make the person that they're with. A lot of you guys aren't with this man or woman. Before we go through the different ones. Um, and so they feel trapped being with the karmics. And so they hate you for that. Where it's supposed to, you know, it's supposed to flow. It's supposed to feel good. Two to two on the clock. They should supposed to feel like they have a deep connection, a twin flame, that spark, those butterflies. But when you come into the room or when they think about you or they text you or maybe you share children or maybe this is your husband, your wife, your boyfriend or girlfriend, your significant other, and you're off and on with this person, right? Or maybe you're a crush or you're somebody in the DM or you just had a date with him or her or you know what I mean it's not even that serious do, do you make this man or woman you have to figure out the dynamics I don't know who you are some of you never even met this person but when they think about you see you be in a room with you it makes them think that they trapped with the karmics that's the energy I get get and I, I wouldn't want to be with a man or a woman and every time they see their ex or somebody that has a crush on them, or somebody new, or somebody I know they're talking to in the DM, or a long distance relationship, or maybe they hooked up, linked up, or or it's their other man or other woman, and I feel like they feel like they're trapped with me. And so they hate you for that, or they don't like you for that. I really don't like the word hate because it's so strong. Sometimes I use words that I don't like to use, but it's, it's 18 plus entertainment purposes only, and it's just energy, okay? So I don't know if they hate you because when you learn it, 333 is on the clock, 222, 333 um, on the clock. So, um, yeah, so I feel like you you make them feel trapped. They don't want to feel trapped. They want this, they don't want the person that you love or you care about or you, um, you know, you have a crush on to feel trapped with them. They want them to feel free. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get that. So, why don't they, um, so, um, Karmix, why you don't like this um, man or woman? Because you make the person that they love, um, make them think that they feel like they're trapped with the, um, and I think uh, some of the karmas want to say they, the men and women that they're with, they want to be there. So, so this could be somebody's husband and wife. You could be the other man or other woman. Um, and then when they come home to their husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend, it's like the same thing or off and on or whatever. Um, um, they feel like they trap like they because they have responsibilities or they feel accountable for them. Whether they have kids, a cat, a dog, it doesn't matter, fish or whatever. You know what I mean? Or they have history together. But or you know they knew each other and they got together and they were friends and they became lovers or they were in some kind of group together or something like that. And it's like they feel like they're trapped, um, and they shouldn't feel like they're trapped. You want they want them to feel like they they, they want to be there because they love them and they care about them because of what they say. Now, some of them, um, the karmics aren't with this. This could be your husband and wife. Um, you know, and so we'll flip it because they don't have to necessarily be in a home, and they could just feel like um, as being the um, 
the um, third party or something like that. Maybe they got kids by the third party or maybe they, um, you know, the n notorious Mr. Mr. Side Piece, um, the side pieces might feel like that they, that they feel like they're trapped with them because they just use them for sex or they use them for time or, you know, for psychological, mental, physical, or just communication or something like that. And so the, so the side pieces feel like, you know, now they feel like they're trapped, you know, because you know, the, the husband or wife is not giving it to them until they want and it's something that I provide. And so it, it doesn't flow. I get it. It doesn't flow. See, it doesn't flow. They feel suffocated. They feel trapped. Whoever it is. Only you, you guys know. Okay, so why you don't like this man or woman? It's Saturday morning. I was supposed to go somewhere. It's my birthday weekend, but it's about to pour down rain. Why do you know? Because you're very attractive. A lot of you guys could look like this or maybe not. Somebody could have some blonde hair or, you know, sandy brown or some brown blondish wig, wigs or weaves or braids or, or your own natural hair. So you got really beautiful eyes. I mean, almond shaped or whatever kind of shape of your eyes. Some of you guys could be Blasian, um, Asian. Some of you got full lips, um, profound nose, nice. Maybe wear nice clothes. Maybe have your own style. Um, she doesn't have the, a ring, but uh, maybe the, they give it, the, the karmics don't like you because you give the impression that you're going to get this ring from this man woman symbolism meaning like this man or woman want to you know be more committed to you or they're more attracted to you you're very attractive and um and and, and i and i i would understand that um i'm um, speaking for them you're very attractive and they're attracted to you there's an attraction here and they can't deny it they can't deny it so if they see this man or woman and you're in the room with them or you know or you're you know wherever you're at or you're riding in the car with them or you see them at the store you see them at the club or something like that the car makes you know that this person is very much attracted to you and the more he or she I deny it or they huffing and puffing and blowing the damn house down and they can't stand you don't speak to me and don't speak to her and I'm trying to tell her or him I'm with you and and they doing all that energy and all this excess energy it's because of obviously that they um uh, there's an attraction there and the karmics know it right and even though she or he tells them no baby I'm with you and I don't even speak to him I don't speak to her I don't like the, her pictures when I see them at work I walk past them. You, you have to do all that are you still talking to somebody you didn't talk to 10 years ago no you're not doing all that and this is what the um see I think that the men and women that you're in love with they think the karmics are dumb the karmics are far from dumb the karmics could be doctors and lawyers physicists teachers um a karmic could be you or me you know it could be the other man the other woman it could be the husband or wife um the husband and wife coming people coming their husbands and wives and lives lgbtq um community everybody's welcome to teach them a lesson they didn't say stay and be married forever that's a biblical thing we're talking spiritual you was just supposed to come and show this man or woman um some lessons and I, some people stay forever you know i stay married or in this relationship or they don't have to be biblically married or under religious umbrella for years you know because of the kids and everything you was just supposed to teach them a lesson they was just supposed to learn a lesson and move on so they can recognize that they're a person that they have a deep connection with a twin flame or maybe change some behaviors and so at the end of the day the karmics know that there's an attraction here that there's undeniable and they hate that and they don't like you oh my gosh um, why the karmics don't like you? Because this man and woman plays a lot of games with them. And they just cycle. You know, one minute they say, and I went through all that spiel. And I, I go off on a tangent. I talk so much. But one minute they say, yeah, I don't want my husband or wife back. Or I'm not sleeping with my husband or wife. Or my boyfriend or girlfriend. Or I ain't paying attention to that crush. A lot of people crush on me. But not this special particular crush. Because the karmic know this particular crush you're in love with. Or you like. Or you like him. Or, or um, I would just be talking to them people online or in the DM. You know what I'm saying? You know, I talk to certain people every now and then, you know what I mean? Not this particular person you talking to in the, um, the DM, um, or you know what I mean? Or, or you met online or you linked up with, or you hooked up with, you caught feelings. You love this person. This was why the karmics don't like you. You know, you, listen, if this man or woman has a, a player or they have a reputation of cheating, betraying a line, or if they never did it, they never did it. They true blue. They never did it. Whatever they did with you, the karmics don't like it. Whether you just talking at work as friends, whether you met them in the DM, um, or how you say it, linked up, hooked up, or whether you're a crush, maybe, um, maybe you met them, um, you know, um, um, at work or, you know, or, or you know, recreation activity or, you know, a job or a gym or something like that. The karmics don't like it. The karmics don't like it because for some reason they fell in love with you as a, um, uh, as a um, man or woman. Um, wait, I'm hearing yoga, yoga. I've never done yoga. I'm going to hear yoga. 
Okay, anyway, um, so at the end of the day, um, yeah, so the karmics don't like it. So they feel like the man and woman um, that you're in love with plays a lot of games and cycles. So even so cycling in a, in a way in, 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 with the karmics is um, every time they feel like they have this man or woman, whether they never slept with you or not, whether you never met them or not, whether you got kids with them or not, or you work together or not, every time they try to be concrete with this man or woman, here you go. Here come your name, they hear it on TV, or you um, you level up, or you look different, or you change your hair, or you got that nice, um, you know, beard, or, you know, or, um, you know, goatee, or you got a bald head, or you lost weight, or you gain weight, even if you gain weight, they don't care, um, you know what I mean, or maybe even if you lost everything, something, so listen, if you lost everything, your car got repossessed, you know, you, you're not in school, or in college, or you're, you know, your work changed, or your work environment, or you're not doing the same thing you used to do, you're still, they, karmic still hate you for that you know why because this man and woman cares about you so much that through the bad and the good they can feel the energy how this man or woman still cares about you so if they heard about you being sick or or health scare or you know and even though the karmic might laugh at you and go ha 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 you know it's immature man and woman i got more money than you or you lost this or 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 you know something like that they know deep down inside this man feel or woman feels trapped because they're still thinking about you because they want to be there for you in energy and in spirit and even though this man or woman men um pretend like they don't like you or they don't care about you don't love you the karmics know they shadow even though they shadow is saying dang they shadow is is, is falling him or her right that energy and so the karmics feel like this person is not consistent they play a lot of games and a lot of cycles so they don't like you shit they don't like you go ahead karmics they don't like you collective <laughs> they don't like you for that yeah let me see sex I gotta deal with sex and reconciliation. Look, look at and you got a higher purpose. And you're a twin flame. Good guy. And this person marries you. Oh my god. Third party. That's what we're talking about. Friendship. Well, 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 well. Y'all make it easy for me this morning. Well, the karmics don't like it because some of y'all they haven't had sex with. And they get sex down, sex defied. It ain't even a word. <clears throat> They have a lot of sex um, with the karmics, right? But they know that this man or woman missed the peace they never had. Meaning, my aunt used to say that, like 16 of them. They missed the peace they never had. Meaning, they never had sex with you, hugged you, met you, touched you, kissed you. In, any kind of intimacy. And that just drives the karmic crazy. And even though the karmics don't want them touching you, they know that that desire is there. So they hate you for that. Now, the people who have sex with this man or woman, whether it was good or bad, it, it was very memorable. And just the thought that... The, it was memorable makes them mad because he or she she could have said he wasn't good and she wasn't good or he could have said he wasn't good or, or, or um she wasn't good but the karmics know for you to even maybe they share it with them or maybe they heard them talking about it or maybe the way they act or you know how sometimes people have people talk no 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 it wasn't like that it was just sex the karmics know they lying and some of y'all put it on them on them on them you know you got that good good is that what they call it uh you know what i'm saying and the karmics can't compete with that you know what i mean but at the end of the day just see how he's holding his woman you know what i'm saying but see how she's looking back like what are you really looking at what are you really thinking about and so that wonder that wonder and that cycling and that game plan is is, is tearing the karmics up on the inside and it's it's like there's no consistency there's no stability it's like very um faulty um you know love and feelings and um relationships whether they live with them or whether they don't and the karmics don't like that they want something concrete and i don't blame them and so they feel like you're the problem if you were out the way and some of you never even met this man or woman but if you were out the way um, um and spiritually and emotionally they that you know they could you know have more of a control over this man or woman whatever um dynamics um they play in this person's life but they know that this man or woman has some kind of attachment and then they don't like you because some of you guys reconcile with this um man or woman you care about or they know reconciliation is coming they don't like you they don't like you. They know reconciliation is coming or you're going to reconcile again or you reconcile. So you already reconciled back with your um, husband, wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend. Maybe it's a crush. Maybe somebody you met online or in the DM and y'all finally got to meet. Maybe you were mad. Maybe there was no contact. Any way you look at it, I can't cover everybody. It's too many, y'all. You have to use your dynamics um, of who you are. But they know that there's reconciliation coming and they don't like you. 
They don't like you. I can't believe he went back to her. Oh, I can't believe he went back to him. I can't believe she went back to her. I can't believe she went back to him. I can't believe they desired each other. I thought they didn't like each other. I thought they weren't talking. I thought they weren't speaking. I thought it was limited. I thought it was because of the kids. I thought she was here. She was just a crush. Well, I thought that they were long distance. There was no way that somebody's going to take a, a train, a um, plane, or automobile to meet each other. Well, yes, they know that you guys are going to reconcile eventually. And so they don't like you for that. Karmics don't like you for that. No, sir, sir, third party. Third party talks about um, relationships that outlive this usefulness. I don't know who's the third party. Only you know. On um, the karmics feel like you're the third party. Rather than the side. Like, I'm messing with somebody's husband, somebody's wife. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I feel like, oh, I got him. I got her. So I feel like they the third party. They just um, taking up space. Maybe they got kids together. Maybe they're older and he don't want to leave her. Or, or he don't want to leave him. Or whatever dynamics are. I'm just using the third parties for the notorious Mr. Mr. Side pieces, friends with benefits, and trade shit. I want to represent y'all. Because at the end of the day, Ain't nobody tell this man or woman to mess with y'all. Y'all can't take all the blame, right? So I'm that person. But the relationship is over, right? And so the, the karmic husband, wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend don't like you um, um, because they, you remind them how um, the relationship has outlived its usefulness. Let's switch it up. I'm the husband. I'm the wife. I'm the boyfriend. I'm the girlfriend. This is the primary person. You the side piece. You the friends with benefits. You the situationship. You're the convenient person, right? And, um, and, um, um, and, and, and so why I don't like you is because you're disrupting my, um, you know, my marriage and my relationship. It's still the same dynamics or whatever, you know what I mean? And he makes them very much aware that, um, their relationship is over. Um, yeah, I forgot, but I think I didn't represent the third, um, the, the side pieces or something. Well, yeah, the side pieces can feel the same way. Like you're still with your husband and wife. So you know that the, the relationship is over and okay. And then with the husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, the, um, that's, this is what the relationship is over. They feel like when you're the third party, you was just supposed to come in, sex them. We were not really really doing good in our relationship we have highs and lows you know ebbs and flows you know how relationships are and so they have already had sex with you they already did vacations and you already disrupted my um family and my home and i need you to be gone because um whatever he or she needed with you has outlived this usefulness and so i don't like you you get it so for for that side and then for crushes and um, you know, people that you never met, um, this, um, person, they just don't like you because they, it, it, you, they don't like you, um, because you remind them of how their relationship is over, right? And has outlived this usefulness and it's very heartbreaking. It's very sad and it's very disappointing and it's causing them some trauma and it's causing them some grief, you know, and it's causing them a lot of heartache and headaches and physical ailments. And they, they're thinking about nostalgia. Maybe they're overeating. Maybe they're under eating. They're thinking about the kids or the kids that they didn't have or, or the dreams and trying to project to be with this person for the future and how much time they have and they don't like you you a threat you a crush you somebody they met in the dm you did all this to this man or woman you got into their mind stimulation into their heart whether they're speaking to you or not no contact or not this is spiritual reading you know what i'm saying you know um and you knew about me or you maybe you didn't um and this person feels this way for you i don't like you the karmics don't like you let's talk about mary let's talk about mary I knew I dropped the card. The most important card. Let's talk about mirroring. So it doesn't matter what position you play. Mirroring is, um, for this reading, the karmics realize um, that this person mirrors you a lot. They're, so like, say you're losing weight and you're going to the gym. Next thing you know, you hear or the karmics realize, why are you starting to get fit? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Or you read and you're going back to school, continuing to education, or you want to get your master's or get your GED, or you want to travel or you want to do something, or you started running or cycling, or, you know, I mean, you playing the piano or, you know, you singing now and shit, you know what I'm saying? Or you done went and got saved, joined the church and moss, something like that. Or you moved away from that. Now you're more spiritual. You're looking at pick a piles and tarot card readings and you studying and you traveling. The world. Like, they mirroring you, or they mad, you mad, or they seeing you out, they act like they mad, or they they could be mad, they could be mad as hell and don't like you, so you're in a, let's just put you out in a club environment, you know, you see her, and I always do um, men, because I'm heterosexual, you see her, and she with her woman, or something like that, and all of a sudden she got an attitude, or you got an attitude, or you acting snobby, and you ain't trying to speak, or you just walk past them with the air, they doing the same thing, like, the karmics know that y'all mirror each other, right, you folding your hands to the right, they try to act like they fold their hands to the the left. <laughs> Shit. The karmics know. You know what I'm saying? Why do you keep hearing yoga? You don't do yoga and shit. That's something that we need to try. Um, I guess it's good for meditation purposes. Well, you know, you meditate, taking, you praying and stuff. Now, all of a sudden, he or she meditate. They hate that. 
They hate that. And so the karmics don't like you for that because you have this effect. Instead of them trying to meditate um, or copy them. Because, you know, you know um, what is it? Um, imitation is the best flattery. Like when somebody copy you or you know what I'm saying? Um, that's what I tell you. Sheen. Sheen is available for everybody. Get your style. You know, copy me. You know, whatever you do. It's, it's, it's just, you know, if you did it first or if you didn't do it first, this is new under the sun. So I doubt anybody did it first. You know what I'm saying? They're not you when they put it on, right? They're not you when they do it, right? And I, I just, I don't know. I feel like I got to free somebody for that because maybe you feel like everything you do, the, the karmic um, copies you. You're here. She want to be you. You know, I got a job. They went and got a job. I went and got my master's. They went and got a PhD. You know, I lost weight. They lost another 10 weight. I gained weight, got thick. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got a car. I had a baby. You know what I'm saying? I do this. I do that. I wear jewelry. I wear earrings. I got tattoos. I don't. Um, you know what I mean? I went and got me a little cute haircut. Got a bald head, natural hair, braids. Got my hair blonde. You know what I'm saying? Could be a white girl. Got you some nice little um, um, black American braids and shit. Looking cute and stuff like that. Like, they might feel like you or you golf or something like that. They feel like you... Um, that you copy um, them or they copy you and they don't they just don't like you they just don't like you or you could feel like they copy you but um yeah I went off on a tangent I, I forgot I'm trying to I'm trying to incorporate everybody so they can um, feel a little bit understand for people who never um, had tarot card readings but when you're listening to a tarot card um, reader remember they can't incorporate everybody's eight billion people on the planet so you have to say well you know what um, she can't or he can't name everything but I know that they're talking about you know me even if it's just one card let's talk about why they don't like you first of all you have a higher purpose and you're a twin flame you're divinely ordered to be with this person divinely ordered to be with this person divinely or to be and they're not i don't care if it's the husband the wife the boyfriend the girlfriend the partner the significant other that um 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 you know whatever there's too many um you know entanglement situationships friends with benefits linking up work wife work husband crush um in the dm whatever if you are not it doesn't matter what label you are if you are not destined to be with this man or be with this woman man man woman woman man woman i don't care um nobody never left this planet um in this dimension and came back and found out if it's heterosexual um bisexual um, um lgbt i could care less i'm just talking energy right so if there's energy and there's no sexual physical body it's just energy if you was not the person divinely ordered to be with this a um, man or woman the karmics can't stand you if you are crushed and you crushing on this woman, you crushing on this man and the karmics know that y'all got this deep connection. They don't know what it is. If they can feel it, they can feel it. My left um, um, foot is burning and oh my, how much this man or woman don't like you, don't speak to you. And they with the karmics, they don't like you. If you're the husband and wife and boyfriend and girlfriend and your relationship is um, rocky and you know, you got interference and you know, third parties and stuff like that. But you know, look at she, look, she praying that this is my husband. This is my wife. I got it right the first time. It could be your second the third um, husband or wife or something like that or maybe you're not biblically married and off and on boyfriend or girlfriend and this is my twin flame or maybe we have kids together maybe we don't maybe we broke up maybe we don't and you know the karmic um, other man other woman they don't like you because they know that you know that this person is your divine destiny and you got it right the first time or if it's your second marriage or relationship or something like that or third or 29th I don't care right now if you have friends with benefits entanglements and these men and women have somebody else you know that this is your man you know know that this is your woman and you know that what you're doing society we're talking about society or biblically or religiously that they say it's wrong but you like i don't care i don't care because i know that this is my woman i know this is my man i know we're divinely ordered spiritually to be together and we have a higher purpose right i can't go through all of them and that's why the karmics don't like you because they know they know that you with you whatever position you play that you're absolutely right they know that if y'all ever got together or worked it out, because some of you still with this person, you live with this person, could be going through the function, cycling up and down, game plan and all that. And that's when healing and dealing with dysfunction and keeping the third party out and interference and all that and working on your divine destiny and a higher purpose and meditation and cleaning up your life and your body and your physical, your mental and your spiritual and elevating could work on that relationship. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know what I mean? But as long as the karmic's there, the interference, they know that this th there's a wedge there. There's a loophole and they're going to keep you apart and if it's a husband and wife and they have to come to the conclusion husband husband wife wife boyfriend girlfriend um cyclops i don't care whatever you don't have to be married but this relationship is over so they can move toward that third party that um outside interference that crush that um um person that they linked up and they happen to fall in love with and they felt like you know i met this man or woman on a date nap or we had a one night stand or 
whatever how or this is my um you know notorious mr Miss side piece but i actually really really love him and my i need to tell my partner or my husband or my wife or my boyfriend or girlfriend that it's over this is what the karmics are upset about i can't i don't know what position you play i'm just trying to you know cover everybody because they know it's divinely ordered yeah and a lot of you guys are really some of you guys could be tarot card readers psychics and seers and you got real power you hear me or pray warriors or christians or muslims or you could be atheists you could be some kind of political party you could be an activist you know you know meditation in the meditation or the way you eat or what you put in your mind the way you think it's so centered and so grounding right so i'm moving away from this why they don't like it they don't like you for that shit you ain't supposed to know that shit you ain't supposed to have these kind of gifts you ain't supposed to be able to do um it's yoga meditation and um, i don't know it's somebody's ele somebody looking in um it's very elevating um yeah yeah i want to say shout out to that man who left me a comment um and I seen you as a yoga instructor. You could be looking at this um, pile because I, I keep saying yoga and I don't say yoga. You get what I'm saying? And I could be wrong. But somebody, um, it could be tarot card readers, psychic seers. Um, you could be, is it called a savant or a devant or whatever? Um, you could have some real gifts. You could, um, 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 what is it, a a actual? I can't say it. When you leave your body, um, you could be, um, uh, you know, um, have dreams and visions and purposes in life and missions. I see a lot of activism and stuff like that. You could be very caring. You could have been a drug addict, um, a sex addict, promiscuous, a hell raiser. You could have come from a dysfunctional, um, um, you know, um, um, family. You could have felt alienated, but I feel like they don't like you is because you had to refocus. Um, you got back center. You cleaned up your life. Um, you could have been a person who was broken. Um, oh, woe is me, a victim. Kicked and kicked and black sheep, dump truck. Um, you know, um, maybe you never cheated. You could have been celibate, abstinence. You could have get laughed at, talked about or whatever. The karmics wanted you to stay in that, that low self-esteem, that low self-worth and the addictions. Only take one or two and maybe none of this shit don't apply for you. You could have came from a broken home. You could have been a very, very wealthy um, type man or woman from rags to riches, riches to rags or something like that. They just don't like you because you've turned your life around. Can't cover everybody. You turned your, some of you guys are artists. Oh my God, I see a lot of art here. Could be a nudist. I don't know why I'm saying that too. Um, but at the end of the day, you turned your life around and they don't like you. This man don't like you. This woman don't like you. Don't ever make the mistake to think, think that this karmic and men and women don't like you. Some of them think they look better than you. Some of them think they're more attractive, attractive than you. And they might be. And they might be. But I don't think karmics, I don't think you really care because I feel like you know that you have this man or woman's heart. And they maybe they want you to be jealous of them, envious of them, because they could be, some of y'all could look basic and average and be okay, you know. But you got this it that they don't have, right? Like, she's fine. She walk in the room men women um checking her out but you might be like shit i'm a little dumpy you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying i got a keg and shit you know what i'm saying but i know what i got and i know what my assets are and i know my personality i tell everybody in a minute you know i'm 57 now you know what i'm saying y'all know i'm not telling my age fuck y'all everybody fuck that i'm so glad to be alive but i tell people in a minute back in the day i walk in the room i was killing the game I'm older now. So I run strictly on personality. I've been saying that since 47. Strictly on personality now, right? I ain't trying to compete with no karmics and all that type of shit. You get what I'm saying? Now, back in the day, I'm a very c competitive person. I've taught my millennials to be competitive. You get what I'm saying? Because a little bit of competition is good. And it's just like constructive criticism. I can't do it at that level anymore, right? So I'm strictly on personality. So if your personality suck, this is, I'm down to earth. You get what I'm saying? Ain't shit put on. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping it real. And karmics hate that shit i feel like i'm talking to somebody so if men and women if you was making money at that level or uh, you know very ambitious something like that and you don't brought it down the karmics hate that because it's like you so mellow you so chill shout out to mellow i don't know why i said it. um you so mellow you so chill with your shit you such at peace and the karmics hate that the man wants you to see him he wants you to be jealous of him look at my bag look what i got i got your woman i got your man you know what i'm saying i know i'm a handsome man or i'm good looking or gq magazine type bold type you know what I mean? Or I got the body, not even being all into the bodies and stuff. And you know, got my teeth all done. You know what I'm saying? Got all them teeth in my mouth. Um, you know, 
what I'm saying? And they all white and shit. And, you know, I got nice clothes and all that. Y'all know I go to Sh Sheen. It's affordable. <laughs> At the end of the day, because clothes don't wear um, um, me. I wear my clothes. You get what I'm saying? I don't care if people put on the same exact outfit. You ain't got my flavor. You ain't got my swag. You ain't got my personality. You ain't got my 39 personalities. You ain't got my ad attitude. I wear my clothes. Like, I, I remember me and my daughter went to Mexico. We rented the, um, a pink Hoopty in Mexico. Shit, we was cute in the pink hoopty in Mexico. It's not the car you drive, it's who's driving the car. I don't know why I feel, feel that way because you have that kind of energy and this is what the karma said about you. Anything you do, anything you touch, turn to gold. Any mistakes you make, you turn them around and you make them into triumphs. Any wounds that you've had in your past and destructive behaviors and bad choices, you celebrate it now because that gives you your wisdom and the karma hate you for that. And when I go off on my tangent, I tell my stories, get some moral meanings behind them in my my readers because it's for you and this is why the karmics hate you because you have this resolve you're not gonna resolve issues you have this um like you felt powerless at one time but you're very empowering um type men and women you're goal getters you're goal setters you're very peaceful you're very serene you're supposed to be broken but you took listen you some of you guys were shattered to pieces i, I don't even know how you put it back together then the shit you put it back together now it looks like a mosaic <laughs> you ever see a mosaic like they shattered the piece and they put it back together? It's a beautiful mosaic. You know, you could never put it back together the way it was because the shit was shattered. But you came back better or you came back different. And if they're, you're better and different is not what they expected, it's, it's okay, right? Maybe you don't look the same. Maybe you don't act the same. Maybe you don't walk the same. Maybe you're not at that level, but you got a serenity of peace or something about you. And they can't stand that. They can't stand it. You put it back together and it came back different. It became a mosaic. If you're in an art, that's very, very beautiful, right? And so they hate that, that you're this person twin flame you're divinely ordered to be with this person and they hate you for that i'm gonna give you one more card let's make this 35 look at that twin flame and they hate that i hope i explained that and you got a friendship and you make this person laugh this person laughs they feel good with you their friends like you even if they have friends and family that don't like you or they never met you and didn't give you a chance they know deep down inside they like you or they like being around you or if they don't like you they they the karmics is mad because they got maybe they they have their friends and family are friends with them right and they push them against you but they make you make this man or woman look at her feel happy feel at peace but there is some men and women that you think that don't like you but they do like you because they know what you do to this man or woman you make them happy anything else Yes, and the karmas don't like it because the karmas could be treated as toxic and crazy. Toxic and crazy. Um, you know what I mean? Where you're more calm and you're more peaceful and they know behind closed doors they have this other side. And they have to be toxic and crazy to keep this person, right? Let me see, anything else? Yeah, and they know that they're um, toxic, whatever, whatever position they play. Look at toxic and crazy. That was my confirmation. Let me give you a card. Why does these karmics don't like... Um, because the karmics is toxic and crazy, honey. Toxic relationships, cycling, blame, game. Some of them could have some mental issues. They could be insecure, very jealous, very envious, very covenant um, type um, people, very cunning. You know, they could be educated, not educated, certification. Education doesn't, it's overrated, but I'm just talking about they could be boss bitches, boss men, or whatever how they call it. They could be very laid back, you know, whatever. They could be really crazy cool, that type of shit. But deep down inside, they have another side. And this is what the, why the karmics don't um, like you is because they, they know that they're, they're see, behind Behind closed doors, look at that. Behind closed doors, they're not everything that they portray to be as men and women. They're very, very much toxic and crazy, and they hate you. And they know that you can see through that shit. Like, you can see through that act. Yeah. And then the karmics is contemplating. And see, the karmics feel like they were a temptation to this man or woman. Look, I'm pulling these cards. The karmics feel like they were a temptation to this um, man or woman. But you're really the real temptation. And they hate that. They don't like that about you. And they're contemplating leaving this man or woman. Or contemplating saying some shit to you. Be careful. You know what I mean? But they know that y'all have this unconditional love that they can't break. That you got the twin flame. You got an unconditional love they can't break. Whether you met the man or woman or not. They don't care. They, they just don't like you. They don't like you because there's an unconditional love that they can't break. They think they look better than you. They got more money than you. They talk. They got history with them. Or they just met them. They're a new person on the block. He's a new man, new um, woman. Or whatever the situation is, a dynamics, history or new. It doesn't matter. Um, side piece or a husband, wife or committed or not committed. Whoever your position is, the karmics feel like no matter what they do, <laughs> Fat ass, no ass, flat ass, petite, and you got like 40 stomachs. I got 40 stomachs. This man or woman still loves you because it's unconditional and they hate that. And it makes them obsessed. 
And the karmas could have some addictions and obsessions. And some of y'all could be Tauruses, Virgos, and Capricorns. And they feel like it's complicated. They don't want it to be complicated. Y'all could be, what is that, air signs? Um, um, Gemini, Aquarius, I forgot, Libra. They, they, and they don't want it to be complicated. They want it to flow. They want what you got. They want what you got. They want that um, heart. I didn't say this man or woman don't give make it complicated. I didn't say this man or woman, you can, might not be no contact. I, I'm not saying that you might not, you can't even stand this man or woman. That's not what they're saying. They're saying they don't like you because at the end of the day, it's reconciliation, it's uh, twin flame, it's divinely ordered, it's unconditional love, and they have to, they're going to eventually lose them, whether it's mentally, physically, spiritually, something like that. Because it's, it's like, I'm with this man, but I know he still loves her, or he loves him, or he likes this new person, or he's in love with this new person, but I got him. Well, what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. What's the last thing? Why do the karmics um, don't like the collectives? Because y'all got this connection, and they know it. You got contemplating twice. Look at that. Con co contemplation, I can't find it. It's complicated and contemplation. Hold on, y'all. I know I just seen it. Um, yeah, they don't, and they don't like that. Look at this contemplation. Yeah, it's like sometimes they feel like their relationship is good and they feel optimistic and pessimistic and then they get a little doubtful and fearful, but then they get a little courageous and they feel like they can move um, move forward, but they can't, they can't read this. You don't want to be with a, a relationship um, that, um, that, that you can't read or you can't determine or even if it's good and you know this man or woman might not never leave them, they're like, I don't have their hearts. I mean, what, what kind of empty and no substance relationship is that? Because they feel like this person wants to invest in you, um, and, you and you're more their equal counterpart. This is another twin flame card. I'm going to leave it like that. So they don't like you for that. Yeah. Let me see. They feel like this person wants to invest in you. And you're their equal. And y'all can build together. And you can be more successful. Because of divinely ordered. <laughs> I wasn't going to pull no more cards. Look at this. And at the end of the day, they don't like you. Because it's a mutual love that y'all have for each other. It's unconditional. It's a twin flame. This is the two of chalice. Look it up. It's a twin flame, undeniable, mutual love that y'all have for each other. That they can't break it up. It doesn't matter. Even if you're crushed, they can't break it up unconditional love and this person loves you just as much as you love i don't care if y'all not speaking you ain't seen this person in thirty thousand years there's something that y'all have that they can't they, they they don't they don't they don't even understand it has defined defied um time it's something telepathic it's something extraordinary it's something that they can't they, they just don't know what it is they just don't know what it is you got a love for each other two men two women man and woman met or not met together speaking not together um bad good ups and downs and differences you know what i'm saying whatever the situation is it's undeniable that there's two people who really love each other and the mutual the feelings are the same rather they mask it pretend no contact never consummated never had sex it doesn't matter uh, whether they divorced they broke up had kids didn't have kids ups and downs um long distance relationships something like that they can't break this up and this is why they don't like you because you're a twin flame it's unconditional love and it's real love and it's mutual and you care about each other and that's why the karmics do not like you